Okay, so we have here this uh, first word problem involving secants, tangents, and multiple secants and tangents and chords for uh, circles. Okay, so for the first one, this is our problem. Iris wants to create a rotating round table for her friends whenever they play their board games at their house. So to do so, she created a blueprint of the said round table on the right. So given that the arcs AN and FG measure 46 degrees and 29 degrees respectively, find the measurement of angle delta this angle right here so what we're going to do here guys let's first try to identify our arcs we have here arc a n measures 46 degrees and arc f g measures 29 degrees and we need to find angle delta okay so it's kind of like a squiggly d okay so there you go yeah, angle delta okay to solve to solve for this problem we're going to use one of the theorems that we had a while ago that we discussed a while ago the measurement of angle delta is going to be equal to one half the sum of the measurement of the arcs that we have here so we have your arc a n plus the measurement of arc f g so that's going to give us the measurement of arc delta is equal to one half multiplied by a n which is 46 plus l f g which is 29 okay so using our calculator we're going to have the value is equal to 75 okay 46 plus 29 is going to be equal to 75 okay so measurement of angle delta is one half of 75 and 75 divided by 2 okay is simply equal to 37.5 and there you go so that's the measurement of angle delta 37.5 degrees okay so for our next problem we have here uh, Dania uh, plans to fa uh, fashion a rotating closet in her best best friend's bedroom so to do so she made a rough sketch of the outline of the rotating closet the secant lines represent the entry ways and the exit ways for the rotating closet so the rotating closet is kind of like one of those fancy closets that you have if you have a uh, big bedroom okay so there you go and uh, given that the arc measurements here and the angle uh, and the angle measurement is 52 degrees on the right Okay, so find the value of x and the measurement of arc r i and t o okay so again we're going to use the same formula for this one because look at here if we look at here we have your two um secant lines okay so we have your two secant lights that intersect inside of this circle circle a okay so to do so we're going to write our formula here the measurement of angle a is equal to one half of arc arc ri plus the measurement of arc po okay so we know that the measurement of arc ri is x minus 2 and po is 2x plus 3 we essentially want to get the value of x after getting the value of x we can now get the value of ri and po the one that's required for this given problem okay so to do so we have here the measurement of angle a which is 52 degrees is equal to one half times the measurement of arc ri which is x minus 2 plus the measurement of arc PO, which is 2x plus 3. So if we add here x and 2x, that's going to give us 3x. And then 3 plus 2, that's going to give us plus 1. Okay, multiplied by 1 half is equal to 52. Okay, so we can multiply both sides by 2. So we can cancel here the, the 2 here. So we're going to be given 52 times 2, so that's 104, is equal to 3x plus 1. Okay. Okay, so to solve for the value of x, we just simply have to transfer positive 1 to the other side. So this 104 minus 1 is equal to 3x. And 104 minus 1 is simply, simply equal to 103. 103 is equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3. So therefore, the value of x is going to be equal to 34.33. Okay, so if we have here the value of x, 34.33 degrees, we can now solve for the measurement of arc ri. Since arc ri measures x minus 2, and we know that x is 34.33 minus 2, so therefore the measurement of arc ri is going to be equal to 32.33 degrees. So that's simple. So how about the measurement of arc po? 
Okay, measurement of arc PO is equal to 2x plus 3. And we know, and we've solved for the value of x, so that's equal to 34.33 plus 3. Okay, so we're going to have here 34.33 times 2 plus 3. So that's going to give us 71.66. So the measurement of arc PO is going to be equal to 71. Okay, 0 0.66 degrees and that's simple okay so that was that simple okay next problem so isabel is creating a signal tower near their community at point r so the, the given signal tower will transmit a 5g level internet bandwidth throughout their entire community okay so 5g is being a uh, one of the emerging technologies that we have right now so given that the measurement of arc and i'm sorry measurement of angle r is equal to two phi degrees and the measurement of qw arc qw is equal to 148 degrees and the measurement of arc ef is equal to y degrees find the measurement of arc ef or the value of this angle right here arc y okay so how do we do that okay so you've we've, we can notice that this given figure here is not the same as the ones that we solved a while ago okay so this one we have your plus Okay, for this problem, most likely this is going to be a minus. Okay, so if you go back to the theorems that we have, okay, so one of the theorems there state that this, the one half of the difference of this arc right here and this arc right here is going to be equal to this angle right here found on the external point, okay, outside of the circle. Okay, so therefore this is going to be equal to the measurement of angle R is equal to one half okay the measurement of arc qw but instead of plus we're going to do a minus so that's going to be minus arc ef okay so what's the measurement of uh angle r so that's two phi degrees okay where the value of phi is the golden ratio so later uh we're going to use that constant so we have here the measurement of arc qw and that's 148 degrees minus the measurement of arc ef and we don't know the measurement of arc ef so yeah we just simply write here measurement of arc ef okay and the next step is going to, to be simply equal to multiplying both sides by two so that we can cancel the one half and the two here and this becomes four phi okay four phi degrees is going to be equal to 148 minus okay minus um the measurement of arc ef Okay, so to solve for the measurement of arc EF, this will become 148 minus 4 phi degrees is equal to the measurement of arc EF. So we just, okay, transposed. So 148, okay, minus 4, okay, so times, okay, 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. So it's the value of our golden ratio. So that's going to give us a value of 150. 141 okay so we have here the measurement of arc ef is equal to 141.53 degrees okay there you go so that's the value of arc ef okay very simple and again guys um it's uh what do you call this it's more preferable okay or it's much nicer guys if you use the exact value of phi or the golden ratio so it's going to be one plus the square root of five all over two Okay, you can you guys can use uh, phi is equal to 1.618, but uh, since 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 is a much uh, more accurate okay, value, okay, so there you go. Let's try to use that value on our calculator. Okay, next problem. So Mary Bless plans to create a community circular library with a triangular cafe shop serving at the entrance, like this one given on the figure here. So this is the circular library and there's the uh, triangular coffee shop. Okay, there you go. So that's kind of like the blueprint, okay, the architectural blueprint for Mary Bless's uh, library and cafe. So given the rough outline of the blueprint of the library cafe, uh, find the value of A. Okay, so we need to find the value of A of this variable and the measurement of arc GN. Okay, so again, this is very similar to the problem that we had a while ago for number three. So we can also use the same formula for this one. Okay, but this time, okay, so this time it's going to be a little, just a little bit different. So we have here the measurement of angle T. This is the external angle. 
Okay, so we have your point T. So this is the external angle found outside of the circle is equal to one half multiplied the measurement of arc GN. So you always take, we always take this big angle first minus the smaller angle here. There you go, minus arc OV. Okay, so that's going to be equal to, since the measurement of angle T has been given, so let's write that here, 47 is equal to 1 half multiplied by the measurement of arc GN, so that's 2A plus 15, quantity 2A uh, plus 15, minus the measurement of arc OV, which is equal to A plus 1. Okay, so for this one, we multiply both sides by 2, okay, so we can cancel the 1 half here. And 47 times 2, that's going to give us 94, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, right. Okay, so we have here 94 is equal to 2A plus 15 minus A plus 1. And uh, 2A plus A, so it's going to give us 3A. And 15 minus 1, uh, wait, wait, 2A, okay, so this is 2A minus A. Okay, so this is going to be, we're going to have to distribute the minus sign here. So this is going to be negative A and then negative 1 and this is going to be plus. Okay, so 2A minus A, so that's simply A. And 15 minus 1 is simply going to be equal to 14. Positive 14 is equal to 94. And to solve for the value of A, so 94 minus 14. So therefore the value of A is simply equal to 80. There you go. So A is equal to 80, and therefore the measurement of arc OV, okay, the measurement of arc OV is going to be equal to A plus 1, which is equal to 80 plus 1, which is going to be equal to 81 degrees. So how about arc GN? So the measurement of arc GN is going to be equal to 2A plus 15, and we know that the value of A is equal to okay is equal to 80 so we multiply that to 80 plus 15 so we're going to get that the measurement of arc gn is equal to 160 plus 15 so that's going to be 175 degrees okay, so that's simple okay so let's move on to our next problem okay so we have here uh number six Okay, so Mighty plans to build a circular-based CPU system with a hook for its holographic and virtual reality interfaces and modules. So given the rough blueprint of the high-end CPU that Mighty will build, what is the value of P and the measure of HB and in decimeters? Okay, right, guys, so for this one, this is a secant, secant, okay, so let's write that. This is a secant, secant power theorem problem. Okay, so again, what's the formula for the secant-secant power theorem? So we have here the outside, outside segment, which is HV. We multiply that to the sum of the outside or the inside, so it depends but because uh, addition is a commutative property. So we have here HV or VN plus VN or HB. But since we wrote here HV, so that's going to be VN. The inner, I'm sorry, the outer plus the inner or the inner plus the outer. Okay, so that's going to be equal to the same pattern on the other side. Okay, so that's going to be equal to HB, okay, multiplied by HB plus BL. Okay, so again, HV, HV and HB are the uh, uh, line segments that are outside of the circle. And then we have your HV and VN, so this is the sum of the first segment or the first secant that we have here. And HB plus BL, this is the sum of the second segment. Okay, so to solve for the value of these four sides, okay, and to solve for the value of P, okay, so first, let's, write, let's try to write the given that we have here. So since HV is equal to P plus 8, okay, we can write here P plus 8 plus VN. Okay, so that's equal to 12. So it's going to be equal to HB, which is P plus 10. And again, HB is going to be P plus 10 and plus BL is equal to 7. So what we're going to see here, guys, we're going to have a quadratic equation. So this is going to give us P plus 8 multiplied by P plus 20. Since 8 plus 12 is 20, it's going to be equal to P plus 10 multiplied by p plus 17. Okay, so for this one, we have to multiply p plus 8 and then p plus 20. So this is going to give us, 